Welcome to the Hit Monkey recap. Hitman Bryce is enlisted on a special job to kill politician Ken Takahara. Evading the police, he escapes and parties the night away, arriving at the drop off point to collect his money and jet out of the country. He is intercepted by corrupt military officers, ordered to execute him. He manages to use his explosive backpack and gun down the adversaries. Hearing blaring sirens and seeing lights in the distance, Wounded, he stumbles into the snowing forest, where he falls and succumbs to his injuries. However, he is found by snow monkeys, revived in the hot spring and made to rest. Their leader, the elder, is against violence and allows him to remain. One monkey is against it, watching Bryce prepare for his revenge. He slaughters the snowmen one by one, warning the others about the siding. They refute his danger, and it turns into a massive fight. He is exiled for this. Leaving the forest, the monkey spots the monkey spots soldiers on snowmobiles, rushing backwards to inform them but he is too late. They kill Bryce and all the other snow monkeys. Enraged, he grabs the gun and single handedly wipes them all out. Bryce names him Hit Monkey before passing away. Strangely, their souls are now bonded. Bryce is able to communicate with the monkey, but he is invisible to all humans. They want to avenge the tribe and himself, targeting their fixer, Oboro, an elderly lady that gave Bryce the money for the hit, and Hit Monkey accidentally saws Oboro in half taking the money to rent a hotel for the time being. Filled with guilt from murder and condemned by memories of the elder, Hitmonkey wants to place flowers at her body. They find police all over the scene, most notably Officer Ito and his new partner Haruka. He is driven by the death of his partner and is tormented for taking a bribe in the past. He explains that back then it was normalised, but when the new chief was instated he wanted to make an example and he took the brunt of it. They suspect that it was a monkey that committed the murders. Bringing this up, they are harassed at work for this conclusion. The door is spot General Kato from the army, noticing this from his attack back at the station. They trail him to the funeral of Takahara, where Shinji decides to continue Takahara's legacy and run opposing Ozu, 4th Prime Minister of Japan. Whilst the kid plays with Hit Monkey, Bryce listens into the general talk about an assassin that is after him and he fears for his life, but he is dragged out of range. Hit Monkey has returned with a new look. Yakuza member bodies were found outside in the parking lot and a shootout breaks off between the gangs. Hit Monkey kills the members and protects Akiko. She tries to thank him but is rushed off for her safety. In the parking lot, he also kills General Kato. Taking his wallet, they locate his house, hiding in the closet as a standoff begins between the military and Yakuza. Overhearing that General Kato owed a casino run by Yakuza, Kepe and Tepe money. The gun goes off and they all pass. At the casino, they are forced to win their way to the high rollers room with the assistance of Bryce's cheating. They do so easily and two murder the twins. They go through the books and find that they are paying high amounts of money to the accountant. He is located at Sagana 227 or the prison. First they visit a temple and are consoled by monk Sato. He is also able to talk and see Bryce through his spirituality and teaches Hit Monkey about salt warding off spirits and demons. They also visit Akiko sometimes. She lies that they are taking out the Yakuza and corrupt members of the political groups. One of the many reasons why she is helping Shinji run. So they break into the prison, entering the underground pit. Locked into a fight against Fat Cobra, an assassin so fast his feet create lightning. Obviously, the monkey wins. And deciding against killing Fat Cobra, they team up against their accountant. He flees into his cell and opens up a secret luxurious room, cowering as he explains that the rooster made him do it. The prisoners find this compartment and slaughter him for hiding it. With vast arrays of Yakuza and corrupt officers down, the tribunal placed a 150 million yen bounty on Hit Monkey. He disposes of a ninja and discovers the bounty on his head. They too kill a corrupt officer and a rich influencer, making a comrade out of Yuki a spirit that protects Tokyo. In this, Hit Monkey is caught by a taxidermist and brought to the tribunal. He had already killed him and uses him as a ploy to massacre the tribunal. In the scuffle, the rooster escapes and is arrested. Retiring to Akiko's house, she treats him like a king until she is asked by the police to help find incriminating evidence on the rooster or he will be released. Haruka starts to get suspicious of Akiko for supporting the monkey vigilante. They are unable to and the duo catch him after the release, going on a rampage of murdering his stunt doubles. And finally, Rooster admits to having a key that could incriminate the rest of the Yakuza. He is killed with a pen. Knowing the intricate assassin underworld, Bryce worries that Lady Bullseye will be after them. On the news, they notice snow monkeys killed in two rings, the symbol of Lady Bullseye. They return to Akiko's house to prepare for war with their weapons. Akiko returns to ask them to leave and the police officers enter to try and question her more about her relation to the vigilante monkey. They spot Lady Bullseye and the house explodes. In the aftermath, Lady Bullseye pins monkey. She is temporarily distracted by Haruka that throws a needle at her. 
Officer Ito jumps in the way and takes her, giving enough time for Hitmonkey to escape. So she leaves to pursue him through the train and onto a bridge, where he leads her into a motorbike accident, falling into the ocean and washing up on shore. His guilty conscience starts to cloud his mind and wants him to turn away from the assassin life. Monkey locks Bryce in a salt circle, blaming him for all his misfortune and being a demon. Akiko barely makes it through, but survives. Officer Ito isn't as fortunate. Haruka learns that Captain Tsubasa was Ito's partner, and when Ito took the blame, he was promoted to captain for it. Here Monkey goes back to his roots in the snow mountains, talking to an owl. He learns that a new tribe of snow monkeys have moved in. He saves the baby from the enemy red stripes snow monkeys. This warrants him a place in the tribe, but their opposition the red stripes are still harassing them. And since their hot spring has stopped being heated, they have seized their one, not wanting to lose his home again. Here Monkey motivates them to fight for what's theirs, promising that none of them will get hurt. At night, the red stripes prepare to take over the hot spring, placing decoys as snowmen to lure them. In the hot spring, they leap into action. Tired of this useless battle, the red stripe leader bashes the baby with a rock, instantly killing him. The parents blame Hit Monkey for this death, outcasting him. He returns with the guns and with vengeance in his eyes, killing the leader. All the monkeys flee from him, fearing what he may do next. He questions his purpose on life, when the elder tells him that he doesn't fit in with humans or monkeys, but he must protect them both. So he sets off, back into the city to search for Bryce. In the bathroom, Bryce had a near-death experience with the salt ring. He was reminded of his past life. He lived with his single mother, meeting her numerous boyfriends, and he even got a girlfriend named Julia, and together they made Olivia. One day, he met another one of his mother's boyfriends, Maurice. He promised to protect them, until he found a ski mask and a gun in his glove compartment. There he promised that nothing in his past will affect them. After a day filled with laughs and memories at a carnival, the family is held at gunpoint and made to give Maurice a message. He arrives home to find Maurice had knocked his mother out and is trying to flee the scene. At gunpoint, he kills Maurice, starting his life on the road and subsequently as an assassin, leaving Julia money when he can. The pair reunite and realize they only have 24 hours until the election is over. They reconvene at what was Akiko's house. Haruka is now on their side. She explains that Rusa's box, more specifically the pen, was a recording device. They now need to protect Shinji in case Ozu's men are after him. In the meantime, Hitmonkey is sent to the palace to deal with Ozu. Lady Bullseye kills Monkey Sato. They murder the assassins awaiting them, entering the inner quarters to find Bonsai trees sprawl across the rooms. Bonsai Master was the man talking to General Kato about ending Ken and winning the campaign. They lose due to his bonsai powers, tricked into cutting down his own trees, Hitmonkey is able to slay Bonsai Master, entering the balcony to find Ozu and avenge his fallen tribe. In his last moments, he mentions that he wouldn't have a reason to kill Ken, who was up 10 points and would have won if they kept on running against each other. The only one to gain from his death is Shinji, leaving Ozu alive. They return with this information. Congregated outside Shinji's building is Silver Samurai, another spirit protector, and Yuki. Bryce calls her over to explain the situation to Haruka. Their aim to get Hitmonkey to the top and get rid of Shinji. Forced to fight against the Silver Samurai, Fat Cobra comes out to help them. They are sent up the building, where he falls through the window, taking the elevator up to the floor where Lady Bull's eyes is awaiting them. She brutally injures them. Even Bryce becomes visible through the salt she showers on him and calls him out for trying to hit on her at the convention. Bryce uses the salt to become an animate object and hold off Lady Bullseye. She is eventually killed by Haruka. Hitmonkey makes it to the chopper, where all is revealed to Akiko, but she still doesn't want them to kill Shinji. He is her only relative, so he is arrested by Haruka. In this, he grabs for her gun and Hitmonkey stops him in his tracks. Akiko now hates Hitmonkey and growls at him for being an animal. Bryce ascends to heaven for being selfless. Haruka and Hitmonkey travel to the mountains, burying his gun and keeping his memory with them. Fat Cobra is rearrested. Hitmonkey sets off in an aeroplane, drinking his life away, outcasted from all societies. However, Bryce returns. Heaven was good and all, but he really missed his lonely friend Monkey. They decide to set off and make Hitmonkey a real assassin, earning money through assassinations and touring the world. In the death of Lady Bullseye, filled with rage and betrayal, Akiko carries on her legacy. This is where the series ends. Make sure to subscribe, and for more, watch this.